So this is solving situational problems involving trigonometric identities. So these are the fundamental trigonometric identities. We could screenshot this one. So here it is. This is also the other trig trigonometric identities. So please screenshot. So we'll proceed with so the problems. So the first problem is this one. The less s theta or s of theta of the shadow cast by a vertical pole when the angle of the sun with the horizontal is given by s theta, this one, h cosine 90 plus theta cosine theta, where h is the height of the pole. So this is the, the shadow, this is the height of the pole, and this is the angle where express letter A express S theta as a single trigonometric expression and letter B at what angle will give the shortest shadow of the pool the pool the lang the longest shadow so first is we're going to simplify this we're going to make this as a simple um, single trigonometric expression so S theta is equal to H cosine 90 plus theta over cosine theta. So we're going to simplify this. We're going to make this as one. Isa lang dapat ang cosine or isa lang dapat ang sine or so on and so forth. So we're going to check kung ano ba yung identity ang ating pwedeng gamitin. So we know that it's cosine 90 plus theta. So cosine ang ating gamitin. We're not going to use the sine and the tangent. So cosine lang siya. So where are we, what are we going to use? We're, we're not going to use this one because this is minus. So we're going to use this because it's all the same. 90 would become the A and theta would become the B. So this would be A and this is B. This would be letter B. Since that is A, this is um, we're going to simplify this or to substitute. So this would become cosine. So this is equal to cosine A, cosine B. Cosine A, which is 90. Cosine B, which is theta minus sine A, sine B. Sine A, which is 90 degrees. Sine B, which is theta. So over cosine theta is equal to h if we're going to solve for cosine 90 that's cosine 90 that's 0 so 0 cosine theta minus sine 90 that's equal to 1 so 1 sine theta over cosine theta so h any number multiplied by 0 is 0. So 0 minus sine theta over cosine theta. Next, um, from that one, so we're going to have this. So any number subtracted from 0 or 0 minus sine theta is equal to negative sine theta over cosine theta. Ilipat natin yung negative doon. So, it will become negative sine, negative h sine theta over cosine theta. Quotient identities states that sine theta over cosine theta is equal to tan theta. So, this would be equal to negative h tan theta. So, this has single trigonometric expression which is tan theta. So, that's the answer for letter A. So we'll proceed with letter B. Letter B, at what angle theta will give the shortest shadow of the pole, the longest shadow? So if you're going to solve for it, the formula for S theta is equal to negative H tan theta. So we'll start with the shortest. The shortest would be, if you're going to t take, a look, take a look at it, it is negative. It's a negative siya. Ibig sabihin, para maging short as siya, dapat ito positive. Ang value nito positive kasi magiging negative ang negative ang length ng shadow. And there is there a negative length of shadow? There's none. So, we're not going to have that negative. So, kung negative kasi ito, ibig sabihin negative ang length ng shadow. So, mag, 
So, magiging negative ito. So, there's no negative land. So, as much as possible, it should be close at close to close to, to 0 or 0. So, magiging 0 siya kapag nandito siya. Ibig sabihin ng 0, kung 0 ang tata, ibig sabihin, um, so, kapag ang angle is 0, ibig sabihin yan, Kapag ang angle is 0, so ibig sabihin 0, nandito siya. So, it's it's quite impossible. impossible. However, that will give the negative. Negative. And that will give a 0 shadow. Bakit ba magiging 0 shadow? So, kung mag 0 shadow yan siya, ibig sabihin, that would be the shortest. That would be the shortest shadow. So this would be a zero. No shadow is the shortest. However, if that would not be considered, ibig sabihin as kasi magiging kailangan positive siya. Kailangan negative ang value nito para magiging positive kasi negative times negative is positive. So, as the value gets closer to zero, that would give the shortest shadow. Kasi ibig sabihin nito, oh, ibig sabihin yan, paliit siya ng paliit. So, in other, as the value in approaches zero, zero degrees, so it become the shadow became or the shadow becomes smaller or shorter. For the longest shadow, if we're going to take a look at the graph, so kailangan pa negative siya. So as habang papalapit siya ng papalapit sa negative ninety or negative pi over 2 yung yung value ng theta is paliit siya ng paliit if we're going to multiply it by negative it becomes mag, ang maliit na yan siya mag, mas malaki siya so as that with that theta is as theta approaches negative 90 degrees the shadow increases increases in length this is quite impossible with the negative 90 degrees however because i changed this formula for for the given so iba talaga magiging sagot nito however that's how are you going to answer the problem so you're going to compare it to the graph you're going to think of the value that will give the smallest or would give the biggest so because this is negative so as the value approaches zero or it's zero so the shadow there's no shadow at all if it is zero however as the value approaches zero the shadow is small well ever if the value approaches negative 90 the value of or the length of the shadow increases so that's for the sec first problem we'll proceed with the second problem so the angle R at the range R of a projectile fired at an acute angle theta with the horizontal and with an initial velocity of V meters per second is given by this one R is equal to V squared over G sine 2 theta where G is the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.81 meter per second square near the Earth's surface. An archer targets an object 90 meters away from her position. If he, she positions her arrow at an angle of 32 degrees and releases the arrow at a speed of 30 meter per second, will she hit her target? So we'll proceed with letter A first. So for the letter A, the given R. So the first one is 90 meters away. So the distance is, the distance is 90 meters. So that's for range or the range is 90 meters. We're going to compare it with our answer. If our answer reaches 90, it will reach 
the target so it will hit the target if it is more than 90 it will not go into hit still the target because more than 90 it will be in the target so however it should be equal to 90 degrees so and based on our given the angle is 32 degrees and releases the arrow at the speed of the velocity is 30 meter per second and also the gravity we know that the gravity is equal to 9.81 so with that we could solve it so v squared over g sine 2 theta is equal to v squared v squared is 30 squared over g which is 9.81 times sine 2 theta which is 32 degrees so We can solve that using calculator. So, thirty squared times sine two times thirty two is sixty four divided by nine point eighty one. So our answer is eighty two point forty six. Eighty two point forty six. So the distance is ninety, and if the angle is 32 degrees with 30 meter per second velocity will not go in to reach the target. So the answer is no. So letter B, given B, what value of theta gives the largest possible range? At this angle or theta, what is the range? So for letter B, we're going to identify what possible value of theta would give the largest possible range. So if we're going to look at the graph of theta, um, the sign, the value of theta, the sign that will really give the longest range is. So this is the this is the graph of sine. Kapag ninety siya, it's the longest or the the greatest yung value ng y. So, kapag ito siya, pi over 2, yun ang pinakamataas siya. Itong pinakamataas sa value ng y. So, however, and pi over 2, that's pi over 2. So, always remember that it's pi over 2 and 90 degrees. So, pi should be, or it should be pi over 2. However, in our problem, the value is sine 2 theta. So, sine 2 theta should be sine of 90 or sine of pi over 2 at 90 kasi yun siya ito siyang ito siya ng sine 90 yun siya makapagbibigay ng largest value because if you're going to ano siya dapat ito ang ang largest range niya is kapag ito siya the value of this would give the highest value or would be the highest. So, magiging highest lang siya kapag itong sine 2 theta is equal to 90. So, 2 theta should be equal to 90. So, ibig sabihin, theta should be 45 degrees. Kapag 45 degrees, longest range ang maaabot kapag 45 degrees. So, theta would not be 90 degrees. Kasi kapag 90 degrees, ibig sabihin 2 times 90, sine 180 could be, I think it's, that's a 0. Sine 180, so it would only be 45 degrees because that would give the largest value of sine, which would eventually give for the largest possible range. So the next question, at, at this theta, what is the range? So we know that this sine 90 is equal to 1. So the formula, sine v or v squared over g sine 2 theta, which is r, is equal to r. r now would equal to v squared over g is 9.81 kapag 45 ito, sine 2 times 45. This would become sine 90, which is equal to 1. So v squared is over 9.81 r. So this is the largest range. V squared over 9.81. We don't know v squared. It depends also given kapag mataas ang v squared, ibig sabihin, 
mataas rin ang range. Kapag mahina yung V, uh, mahina pa lang velocity, ibig sabihin, maliit rin ang range. So, other than na dapat ng 45 degrees ang angle, kailangan rin mataas ang velocity. So, that will give the largest possible range. However, because we don't know V, so this would be the largest possible range. That's it for solving problems involving trigonometric identities.